All right, first, we take the cover off and take a look inside. Looks like we actually have a video card in here, but it's a single width video card and not nearly as powerful as the 1050 Ti, so we're gonna remove it. All right, let's tilt this thing up so you can see what we got going here with the PCI Express slots. This card that was previously in here was a single width card and it was plugged in to this PCI Express 16 slot. We're going to put in a double width card that'll be plugged into the um, PCI Express 4 slot. It doesn't have the bandwidth that the 16 slot does. However, the card will be a lot more powerful and it will more than make up for uh, the difference in slots. So this computer was built to take a single width card and then maybe you put a Wi-Fi card or something into this other slot. But we're gonna be serious budget gamers and uh, plug it in with an ethernet cable uh, for our internet because we're gonna do massive multiplayer games. All right, even though the 9020 is basically identical to the 7020, we're gonna do our due diligence and measure the amount of space we have available to us in here. From the latch to the edge, we have, holy cow, that's seven and a quarter inches. The 7020 had exactly seven inches. Let's let's get that 7020 over here and double check that because an extra quarter inch is huge. All right, if you'll remember from my previous video, this is the 7020. I had to go with the Gigabyte 1050 Ti because it was the shortest in length because all we had was exactly seven inches of space. Yeah, I'm confirming that right now. We have seven inches of space on the 7020, seven and a quarter inches on the 9020. That means we can go, we can go with any one of the three low profile brands. We're gonna go with the MSI, which is the longest one. It has two fans on it, it's the longest low profile 1050 Ti and it should fit. Yeah, I think I've just made the greatest discovery in computing just now. So now we just need to unbox this MSI. Thank you for choosing. Good. You're welcome. All right. Now, one thing I love about MSI is for their low profile bracket, they put it in this cute little tube and it has its own spot there. Uh, with the Gigabyte, it was just loosely flopping around in there. Uh, so I was worried that my video card was going to be damaged by its own low profile bracket. One thing I don't understand though is with a low profile video card, why not ship it with a low profile bracket? Um, why do I have to do surgery on every low profile video card. Another thing that's great about MSI is we have two screws that are basically necessary for this DVI port to remove the standard height bracket. If you remember on the Gigabyte, it had five screws. That's way too many screws. Nobody needs that many. Correction, there are three screws on the MSI. Still less than five, MSI still wins. Now that we have the low profile bracket on there, we are just about ready to install this. To install, we need to remove the shoe and it should fit. 
All right, now the moment of truth. Does it fit? This is the longest video card in the low profile family of 1050 Ti's. All right, and we just push it directly down in. Wow, that went in easier than the Gigabyte brand in the 7020 and it fits. All right, now lastly, nice. So in summary, with the 9020, you have a little bit of extra space which opens you up to all three brands of low profile video cards. The great thing about that is you can get whatever's on sale. Right now, the MSI is on sale for $159, and everything else is up over $200 or is unavailable. If you want to get a brand new card, at least. All right, that booted up fast. It doesn't look like the video card is completely set up yet. Say no. All right, it looks like with that refresh, the video card has now installed itself, and there we go. We've got NVIDIA settings down in the bottom corner. We talk about PC budget builds. We talk about modding your console. We talk about getting the absolute most out of your hardware. So consider scribing. Consider scribing. Scribe. Scribe. Do it.